Guys, so uh, I'm bringing another tip video to you guys today, and uh, today I'm going to talk about ball control. Now, uh, I'm not going to teach you how to dribble or anything like that, because uh, dribbling is just something that comes naturally to you, like it's just a skill you have to develop on your own. It's kind of like the way Cristiano Ronaldo dribbles, the way Messi dribbles, it's all different, it's all unique to them, so that's something you have to learn on your own. I can teach you that aspect of ball control, but uh, I think like most people out there have this problem because I used to have the, pro the same problem, like you know, when you s receive a true pass, like or you do a true pass to your player and you want to just control the ball quickly or maybe like just kind of flick it forward without losing momentum and just kind of speed towards the goal so the defender behind you doesn't, you know, intercept or catch you or something like that, you know, because normally what they do is what they usually do on your own, like not all the time though, some players kind of like automatically control, have like a beautiful first touch, but normally when you give it over the top true pass, they tend to like waste a lot of time trying to control it and before you know it, the other player just comes from behind you and like, you know, gets the ball. So uh, what I'm going to teach you today is like how to like improve your first touch. So it's very easy, it's not going to be a long video, it's just, it comes down to the same thing I've been talking about ever since. Pace control. Surprise, surprise. I don't know why they allocated so much function to like the pace control button, but it's kind of like when in doubt, use pace control. That's just it. Because this is what you do you're sprinting, right? Towards the ball, like your player is running automatically. So you, all you have to do is keep your hand on the sprint button while your player is running. And then let's say the ball and the ball is ho hovering over your head or something like that, like getting really close. Just tap the pace control button. Don't hold it. If you hold it, your player is gonna slow down anyways. He's gonna control it, but he's gonna slow down. But you want what you want to do is like just kind of jet off with it, so your player just kind of maybe controls it with his chest and keep running, keeps running straight, right? So what you want to do is just tap it a little bit while your hand is still on the sprint button. Now let me just explain the basis of how this works. Why it works? If you go to practice arena, because that's how I figured it all out. If you go to practice arena, there's a way you can dribble with a I don't know what it calls, it's a slow dribble. Basically, you hold the sprint button and the pace control button, and then your player kind of like moves the ball, kind of, just just try it, like, I don't know, it's this type of dribbling technique. Hold both those buttons down, and you, you see your player dribbling, right? And release the pace control while still holding the sprint button, and then direct yourself, like basically in a particular direction. Just try that. You see like your player immediately like just takes off, like sprints, like just like a bullet, it just, goes like that. So that was the same logic I used to figure out this technique. So when I get the true pass, over the top true pass, I hold down the sprint button and when the ball is getting close enough, like when the ball gets like it's letting me say hovering directly over my player's head or maybe just before it gets to my player, I just tap the pace control and take my hand off. Or you can hold it if you want, but do not make sure your hand gets off immediately the ball gets to your player because if your hand is still on the Pace control button, you're gonna slow down because that's what it does. It's, it's gonna slow you down. So you just have to hold it or tap it and then release the pace control. Your hand, while your hand is on sprint the whole time, so you can keep moving forward. Uh, try it and you know, if it, if this doesn't make sense because I, I don't know, like I'm really I'm really bad at explaining stuff, just let me know in the comment section what you don't get and I'll explain to you. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.